Let's have a quick D2 tray update. Biff, pow, zap, clunk, clunk, ouchie. Hey guys, several weeks back now, I shared a concern I was experiencing about the Anycubic Photon D2 DLP printer. Specifically, in fact, the tray. The printer is amazing and I genuinely regard it as the best printer I currently own. But I found small particles inside the tray that made me wonder if the plastic is degrading. You'll notice that I aired this concern openly, asking you guys if you'd experienced any similar issues. And genuinely, the first Anycubic heard about my problem was after watching my video. And it's fair to say they were concerned. They wrote within hours of the video being released, saying that this was not something they previously heard of. They stated that, like most companies, they contract out various parts, and the trays were manufactured by a trusted third party that have been making them without issue for some time now. They also asked me to send them my tray so that they could analyze it. So firstly, is this a big issue? Should every D2 owner be concerned? Well, on the feedback I've received, I'd have to say no. A handful of people have expressed seeing small debris in their D2 trays, but none have experienced the same degree of degradation as me. Or if they have, they haven't stated so. So I guess this is good news, except for me and the handful of others. But maybe there are others out there who are concerned that this might happen to them. Maybe not everyone has been as transparent and as vocal on this issue as I have. I was hoping that Anycubic would offer me a replacement tray, and believe me, I dropped a lot of hints. But unfortunately, no, they haven't. That meant I had no choice but to seek out my own replacement. The good news is, the resin tray for the D2 is a pretty standard size. Look at this tray. It's actually off the original Eligu Mars, and it fits the D2 nicely. But what I really want to convey to you is how heavy and solid this tray is. It feels like cast iron. This early tray was definitely over-engineered, which personally, as a belt and braces guy, I can't help but admire. But if you don't have an original Mars to hand, what then? Fortunately, I found this one on Amazon by a company called Soval, who actually manufacture FDM printers. It comes with two rubber covers, which can be used to keep your resin fresh or, as you see here, to protect the FEP from scratches in storage as of course this particular tray design doesn't have feet. And I have to say, this tray has impressed me. It's clearly metal, it's nicely made, the FEP can be changed when needed, and the unit markings are a lot nicer and clearer than those on the original D2 tray. So take note Anycubic, this is how it's done properly. But does it fit? It fits like a dream. I know a tray is a strange thing to get excited about, but this one has got a 5 star review on Amazon from me. And whilst I'm not really a lover of FDM printers, if this is a standard example of solvable engineering, I'd encourage anyone who does love FDMs to look at their machines. And furthermore, Solval, if you ever make a resin printer, I guarantee my interest in reviewing it. So right now, for me at least, there's a question mark over these plastic trays. Even if any cubic do analyze my tray, what can they possibly deduce? They're gonna tell me it's a dud, and I already know that. From comments I've received, some of which were from ultra owners, which frankly surprised me, I'm confident that I'm not alone in this issue, and that's a real shame. Yes, plastic is cheaper to produce, but if only 1% of buyers experience similar issues to me, that's a problem. 
I fully understand the importance of cost cutting, but if Solvol can manufacture and sell these metal trays for roughly half the price of a litre of 3D resin, then imagine how much more cheaply any cubic could have produced metal trays for their D2. Or if nothing else, given the buyer an option to upgrade. Come on, any cubic, you're better than this. For me, the D2 produces the best quality 3D prints available at the enthusiast end of the market. How disappointing it is then that the provided plastic tray is suspect at best. So if you have a D2 or an Ultra with a plastic tray that's less than perfect, this Soval tray will work perfectly for you. And thankfully, it won't break the bank. What a pity any cubic didn't do the same. So that's it for this quick update, guys. Take care and thanks for watching.